everybody here's another video where I want to talk about GPU screen recorder okay this was created by Dicosiva I would pronounce it like that um, Dicosiva something like that uh, basically he's the creator of this tool um, it's a very very powerful tool compared to OBS well compared to OBS simple screen recorder Kazam and a bunch of others that have been trying to test properly or began testing probably 10 years ago but over the past year I've been trying to use the best I would say optimal or optimized one for gameplay that it would you actually use decoding and encoding capabilities from the GPU instead of sucking away the the power and basically the FPS from the actual game which is why most of the videos that I recorded basically last year were actually they were actually losing between 15 to even the worst case that depending on the search engine I mean the the game engine uh, 60 FPS so when I recorded them you would see a 60 FPS drop a 45 FPS drop some people actually left comments that's not normal to have that amount of FPS value uh, in, in in regards to that specific game with that resolution even with those settings and my argument was that it must be Proton or it could be a, like a Linux thing or it could be maybe a, an optimization that's missing or something like that at the end of the day it ended up being OBS OBS is a great tool um, for a lot of reasons but for some particular reason for the recordings that I did, and you can even see the latest ones compared to the older older ones for the same game, and you you see the jump. You see a jump of 15 FPS, 20 FPS, 30 FPS. Worst case that I saw there was 60 FPS uh, jump just by using GPU screen recorder. And you, there were cases where when you started recording, you didn't even lose one FPS at all. So this is an amazing tool that I wanted to talk about. I I know that I normally was recommending OBS. That's not the case anymore, at least for gaming. At least for gaming. My OBS settings are very simple. Have been always been the, basically the same thing there. Some people told me, hey, you can't be recording this, you can't be recording that. That's how I've always used them. But for some reason, the past six months to eight months, the FPS just dropped. They just jump down something happened I didn't notice that while I was recording I thought it was just the performance Nvidia drivers or something else but it ended up being that the moment that I changed to just test GPU screen recorder I saw the jump and that got me thinking and that got me into basically making this video okay the developer actually added uh, recently an option here where you can pause and, and the recording great for you know gameplays where you want to pause for a second there before you continue i set it up for control f1 and control f2 and you don't even feel the change on some cases you do lose five fps okay eight fps but that's much better than 60 fps 30 fps okay so again gpu screen recorder you can find that um in the flat pack you can install it from there, boom, boom, we're done. Uh, and if you don't know how to install Flatpak on Ubuntu, uh, they, this beautiful place has this set of Flatpak here. You click on Ubuntu, just follow these steps. Okay, there's three and you're done. Well, actually, oh, this one too. You don't even need this one for the old ones. Just if you have the latest Ubuntu, just install this or one of the latest ones. Um, boom, we're done, you're done, you're finished. Okay, you should be able to install the flat pack and done, and you have it like this, like I have it here. Several things here that you can configure. You can even set windows, specific windows you want to uh, select. Like if I want to, you know, for the window, I click here, I click this window, and voila, there you go. It's going to be, it's just going to record this, that specific part. If you want the input here or the output, um, the quality is amazing video codec uh, right now I'm using this one which has no 
impact and has better quality, especially for the contrast. If you saw my video about, um, let me see here, what was the game? Dead Space. If you saw Dead Space, the dark parts of the, the videos, those are thanks to HEVC because they, they render better there compared to uh, 264 here. And I just leave everything like that, start, run this baby, and we're done. Okay? Uh, it has been working great. No problem there. And it saves me a ton of time because with OBS, at least I had to record the thing, then go to KDN Live. And inside KDN Live, I had to add, do the, all, the, all the editing, all that. With this one, I can just start recording inside a specific part of the game. It, it actually detects the, when I press Control F, F1. If something is about to happen, somebody comes in, I need to talk to my family, uh, whatever, Control F2. I finish all the work that I got to do and then Control F2 again so I can continue recording that video. And then I can stop it whenever I want with Control F1 again and we're done. I don't need to edit anything else. You have no idea how thankful I am uh, for this creator for this tool in so many ways. Like I, I'm saving so many hours of work here. So I just wanted to congratulate this uh, the developer and also make sure that everybody knows about this super amazing tool. So if you, if you have an NVIDIA, it also works on AMD, by the way, um, then try this. Just, just try it and try to compare it against OBS and let me know. Uh, that's it. Think positive. Big hugs to everybody. Bye.